Well, here I am entering that dreaded beginning of retirement years. Some of us want to go out with a bang with a retirement party, but I think most want to go out the back door quietly and hope no one notices. Because nobody wants to be recognized as a retired old smoldering senior citizen. Like my wife, just the other day she was offered a senior's discount. Uh-huh. Looking back at that lady making that kind of offer of money. In that moment, she couldn't decide whether to take the $5 savings or backhand the little trap and take her down to customer service for a do I look 55 chat? Debbie turned 55 a while ago, went unnoticed for six months, happily living under that radar until this young lady recognized that she was from Seniorville. <laughs> I'm glad it happened to me because it wasn't such a shock when I finally got the offer. I just thanked the lady for the offer, went back to my car and broke down in private. <laughs> there I am sitting in my car wondering how much longer I'll be allowed to drive. They say time moves quickly, but not always. I can remember when I was a kid, time moved slowly. Are we there yet? How many sleeps until Christmas? Bedtime came too quickly, but the rest far too long. Getting through school, waiting for your driver's license. <laughs> Couldn't wait to grow up and get on with my wife. And then it hits you. You're in your, like in your 20s. You notice your friends are all starting to get married. But it's the 30s that really hit you, because now you're a young old person and you can see 40 coming like a train. And when 40 comes, it can be a bit too much for some of us. They call it the midlife crisis. Youth has passed you by. Your panicking wife's best friend is starting to sell life insurance. Good thing, because you just bought yourself a motorcycle. Dying your hair helps to buy some time, but the rest, Tick-tock, you can feel it passing. Better live, 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 better live.